Hello lovely viewers of Sahiris class. It's another exciting moment. We are delighted to have you on the channel. Today we would like to try our hands on some few elective math questions to help our students who will be writing um, WASI. So let's quickly move. If this is your first time of watching, please subscribe to our channel. Number one says that we should sim simplify um, 3R minus 2S raised to the power 4 in the expanded form. So this one is a question from polynomials. <coughs> polynomials. So here we are to expand this in the binomial expression form. Now the first thing to do is we are going to find the um, factor, the cofactors, or yes, oh, sorry, the coefficients. So the coefficients are one, four, six, four, and one. So someone asks, say, how did you get it? Now we use the Pascal triangle to get it. Now, the first coefficient will be 1. Then we add 1. So here there is 0, there is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we add 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Then 1 plus 1 is also 1. Then, sorry, 0 plus 1 is 1. Then we have 1 again. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then 1 plus 0 is 1. Then we have 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then we have 1 again. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is how come we had the um, coefficient. You see it's forming something like a triangle. So we call this the Pascal triangle. So we use this to multiply using this um, expression we use this as our coefficient so we are going to say so we take the first coefficient that is one so we are going to have one um bracket so the first expression is three r now we always say that in polynomials there is the increasing power of x and decreasing power of y so here is for the uh, decreasing power of x so the power of four so we first begin with the power of four then bracket negative 2 that is negative 2 s then we should add the two powers to get 4 so what should be written here is power of 0 so 4 plus 0 will give you 4 all right then we take the next coefficient so we add them we add them so plus then we take the next coefficient that is 4 so we have 4 brackets 3 r there's a decreasing power so here we decrease it to 3 then bracket negative 2s then here the power increase so here being 0 here will be 1 then plus the next coefficient is 6 so 6 brackets 3r decreasing power of x 2 then bracket negative 2 sorry negative 2s then increasing power of 2 plus then the next coefficient is 4 4 bracket 3r decreasing power of 2 uh, of x that will be 1 then negative 2s increasing power 3 then we have plus so the last coefficient is 1 1 bracket 3r decreasing power of x that will be 0 then negative 2 s increasing power of y that will be 4 then we simplify so um <clears throat> this 4 affect everything because it's in brackets so we have 3 raised to the power 4 r raised to the power 4 d raised to the power 4 that is 81 then r raised to the power 4 is r raised to the power 4 now this is going to multiply this now we know in indices that when a base raised to a power of 0, it is equal to 1. So it means this will multiply by 1 and it's still this. Then the next one, we have 3 raised to the power 3R raised to the power 3 multiplying 4. So 3 raised to the power 3 is 27. Then 27 times 4, that is going to give us um, 27 times 4, that is going to give us 108. Then 108 will multiply negative 2. That will give us negative 216. So negative 216. 
16 then r will multiply the cube that will be r cube and s is just a power of one so we just add the s then plus we have the next one so when we simplify um this and that that will give us 216 then r square s square r square s square here yeah, r square s square then this one that is going to give us um negative 96 r s cube then we have plus positive 16 s raised to the power 4 so this will be the standard form of this particular question two Number 2 says that we should find the remainder of 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 7 divided by x minus 2. So for polynomial, division of polynomial, we can use the division or the synthetic division. Let's use the division of polynomials. So just like we do our normal long division. So this is our root. Then our um, divisor, that is x minus 2. Then our dividend is 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 7. So if we consider 4x cubed divided by x, that will give us 4x squared. Then 4x times 4x cubed, that is 4x cubed. x times x squared is x cubed. 4x cubed divided by x, that is 4x squared. So x times 4x squared is 4x cubed. Negative 2 times 4x squared, that will give us negative 8x squared. Then we simplify this. We subtract everything. So this is 0. Negative 3x squared minus negative x, 8x squared. Neg negative meeting negative is positive. So that will give us 5x squared. Then let's drop this x. We can even drop this 7. So... Now, we have 5x squared divided by x, that is positive 5x, then x times 5x, that is 5x squared, negative 2 times 5x, that is negative 10x, then we subtract, so 5x, that is 0, then x minus minus that will be positive, so 11x, then we drop 7. Then 11x divided by x, that is also positive 11. So x times 11 is 11x. Then we have negative 2 times 11, that is negative 22. So we subtract as usual, this is 0. Then 7 minus minus 22, that is 29. So therefore, the quotient is, the quotient is what we have on top. That is 4x squared plus 5x plus 11. And the remainder, the remainder is 29. Let's move to number 3. And it says that we should evaluate root of 20 delta root of 45. Given that delta is defined by a set of real numbers m delta n equals 2m minus 3n so root of 20 delta root of 45 and you are given by the set of real numbers m delta n equals 2m minus 3n so wherever we see n we replace it by 20 root 20 wherever we see n repeat um, replace it by root 45 so 2 times m that is 2 times root 20 delta 3 times root 45 now root 20 can be simplified as 4 times 5 delta then 3 times 9 times 5 now we um, simplify this Root of 4 is 2, so 2 times this 2, that will give us 4, root 5, delta, 
root of 9 is 3. 3, 3, 9, 9, root 5. But we have a negative, so we have to replace them by the negative. So we have 4 root 5 minus 9 root 5, which will give a negative 5 root 5. Or you can also leave it as negative 9 root 5 plus 4 root 5. It's also accepted. And let's move to the last and final question number 4. <clears throat> Given that log of 2 base 5 is equal to 0 0.431 and log of 3 base 5 is equal to 0 0.682, find the value of A, log of 6 base 2 and log of 12 base 5. So we'll start with the first one, log of 6 base 2. And it says where log of 2 base 5, sorry, base 5. Log of 2 base 5 is 0 0.431. And log of 3 base 5 is 0 0.682. So, log of 6 base 5 can be expressed as log in the base 5 then 2 times 3 because 2 3 will give us 6 from the first rule this can be written as log of base 5 of now the number 2 plus log of 3 in base 5 now log of 2 base 5 is given as 0 0.431 and log of 3 base 5 is given as 0 0.6 a2 so you add this to the answer is 1.113 then we move on to b b that is log of 12 base 5 log of 12 base 5 log of 12 base 5 can also be expressed as log in the base 5 of 2 squared times 3 because 2 squared will give us 4 4 3 is 12 this can be simplified as log of 2 squared base 5 plus log of 3 base 5. Now this can be expressed as this power moves here. So 2 log of 2 base 5 plus log of 3 base 5. Now we already know the question was given that log of 2 base 5 is 0 0.431 and there is 2 here. So it's going to be 2 times 0 0.431 plus then log of 3 base 5, 0 0.682. This is going to give us 0 0.862. And this will give us 0 0.682. When you sum them up, you get 0 1.544. For as your final answer so these are some few likely questions in elective mass as far as this year's was is concerned so one from two of them from polynomials then we have um, rational numbers and then logarithms we keep on posting a lot have a nice day thanks for watching if it's your first time of watching please subscribe to our channel thank you